morning, YouTube. It's Plumber Mike. Going on this emergency service call in Valley Stream. Guy's got a flood in his basement. Unsure if it's coming from his boiler or from his water heater. But in any case, Kelvin, I'm missing you, Kelvin. So stay tuned to this around the corner. We'll see what's going on here. Try to take some video while I'm there. And uh, stay tuned, guys. Thank you. Well, it turns out it's the boiler. Relief valve was letting out a lot of water, flooding out this couple's basement. That expansion tank, time for it to go. And we're gonna put it in an automatic diaphragm. Probably gonna tee it in right off of there. I was thinking about putting it here, but we're gonna put it there. Replace the relief valve. So I got the boiler isolated. Feed valve's right there. Keep this closed, and it'll be good to go. All right, so this boiler feed valve there isn't holding, so we're gonna change that as well. We'll cut, clean this, cut, put a press ball valve right there, coupling piece of copper, eliminate that. Uh, this is a saligator. Yeah, drain the boiler right now. This valve's also leaking. We'll change that. Just pop that open. Make sure it's not airlocked. the new expansion tank in through an elbow coupling two nipples I got a coupling nipple a three quarter by half inch T relief valve piped it out I ran out of couplings and then um, haven't seen this in a while a hole actually for a combustion test so we're gonna use the 320 make sure it's burning like the way it should be and I also Threw in a ball valve right there for the boiler feed. We'll put a valve tag on there. And there you have it. 